So we about to get into Breaking Bad all primetime Emmy Award wins, okay? As y'all know, I just finished Breaking Bad. Phenomenal show. Best TV I've ever watched in my whole life. If this is the first video you're watching, go watch my Breaking Bad reactions. I reacted to every episode ever of Breaking Bad. So go watch that, then watch this. Or watch this, or or don't. Do what you want to do. Subscribe, comment, like. I keep my intro short, my reaction very real. And let's get into it. 34 minutes? What? You telling me it's a phenomenal show? What am I crazy about? What? Of course, it should be 34 minutes. That's crazy, though. For five seasons? Five seasons? Outstanding lead actor in the drama series. And the Emmy goes to... The quality is horrible. Brian Cranston. This is the first Emmy win and fourth nomination for Brian Cranston. Look at all the people. I wonder who uh, his competition was. Probably oh nobody goodness. special. Oh man, she's. <laughs> you sound like Walter White. <laughs> and he does the little forehead thing. She's bald too. I, uh, I haven't been able to, to get this close to her until now, as the restraining order has been lifted. I am, uh, I am so proud of this show, and I, and I have to thank Sony Television and AMC for having the courage to put on this remarkable, uh, challenging, wonderful, odd mix. Outstanding lead actor. Was this the same year? Is this the same? They are at the top of their craft. Six dramatic actors who deliver week after week. I like a man who delivers week after week. <laughs> the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series are Simon Baker, The Mentalist. I don't know who that is. That's a nobody. Get him out of here. Bill Byrne, In Treatment. Get him out of here too. We don't know him. Brian Cranston, Breaking Bad. Look at that, look at that. Look at Jesse, Michael just look at Jesse in the Dexter. back. Man. I don't know who that is. Get him out of here, too. I am Madman. I don't know who that is. That's a random. And the Emmy goes to? We already know who it's going to. Brian Cranston, Breaking Bad. Look at Jesse. Look at Skyler. The quality is horrible. Oh, my gosh. This is 34 minutes oh, long. This is goodness. crazy. Uh, okay, this is the next year. I stand at supporting actor. Uh oh, the next my boy Jesse Pinkman. Is for outstanding supporting actor in a drama series. And the nominees are Andre Brower, Men of a Certain Age. I don't know who that is. Michael Emerson, Lost. No. Terry O'Quinn, Lost. Hell no. Aaron Paul, Breaking Bad. You hear the crowd going crazy. Flattery, Madden. That's Tony Stark, Dad. Aaron Paul, Breaking Bad. <laughs> oh man. Aaron Paul says his first memory of television. Look at him. He's so starstruck. Hey, Charles Xavier. He looked like Jesse, just young, like a kid. <laughs> Look at him. Wow, uh, I was truly not expecting to. Wow, there's so many people. Ask Brian Cranston to work with you every single day. It's a dream. I love you, brother. You have no idea. Lock hey, Powell, look at my Hank. manager. Thank you, everyone. I know I forgot. My boy Hank in the Thank back, you. man. 2010, outstanding lead actor. Again? Each of the men in the following category deserve to go home with an Emmy tonight for their outstanding no, they don't. performances Only one past does. Year. Stop trying to That's be sweet. That's not going to happen. Yeah. And the nominees for lead actor in a drama series are Kyle Chandler, Friday Night Lights. No. Brian Cranston, Breaking Bad. Oh, this is the same, this is the same, this is the same event. Okay, okay, okay. Michael C. Hall, Dexter, goes to. Duh, who Brian is Brian Cranston, Breaking Bad. They went in back to back, boy. Stop playing with the kids. His first job was portraying a carpet. Look at Skyler. Look at Marie. During the time it took me to walk up here, I, I'm venturing there. Honestly, if I'm winning like that, bro, I'll be like, another one. Thank you all. You're all amazing. And I'll walk off. There's no need to say anything else. Another one. Thank you. And walk off. There were 200 text messages to my fellow nominees saying you. 
Outstanding Supporting Actor again. <laughs> I didn't know they was winning it the individual. I thought the whole play. show was winning. Here are the nominees for Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. He ain't got no competition. Jim Carter, Downton Abbey. Who is that? Brendan Poyer, Downton Abbey. Don't nobody know who these people are. Peter Dinklage. Okay, Game of that's calm. That's competition right there. John Carlo. Oh, Gus. Okay, that's competition. Harris, Mad Men. And the Emmy goes to Aaron Paul, Breaking Bad. Look at Gus. Gus said yes. Standing ovation. That's love right there, man. Born in Idaho, That's Aaron right Paul there. worked as an usher in a movie theater before his success as an actor. An usher in a movie theater. Now look at him. He's just like Jesse. Jesse would run up there. I truly uh, didn't even attempt to prepare a speech. Um, I cannot believe I'm standing on the stage, let alone just in this room. Uh, Giancarlo Esposito, I am so honored to share this this category with you and the rest of is that Selena Gomez? Um, Vince, like Selena Gilligan. Gomez. Thank you so much, hiring fiance Lauren. Ooh, um, we got a thank supermodel. You so much for looking at outstanding supporting actress Anna Gunn. Who's Anna Gunn? Is that Skyler? Elena Baccarin, Homeland. Christine Baranski. Is that Skyler? Amelia Clark. That's Comp. That's Comp right there. Anna Gunn. Breaking Anna Gunn. Christina Hendricks. Okay. And the Emmy goes to... Sky Sky. Anna Gunn, Breaking Bad. <laughs> this is the first Emmy win and second nomination for Anna Hey, Gunn. Mike. Look at Mike. Bay, New Mexico. Somebody help her on the stage. Somebody help her on the stage. Tremendous honor. I, you deserved um, it, man. Even though I, I, I don't I like you. Thank, I don't uh, like Skyler, but. My family's first. Of course, my Breaking Bad family, led by the mad genius Vince Gilligan. I got to search out this Vince Gilligan dude. See what else and he wrote. our incredible team of writers and producers, AMC yep. and... Outstanding drama series. Okay, this is everybody. Everybody finna come on stage. Breaking Bad. <laughs> Downtown Abbey. Downtown Abbey, no, man. Who is downtown? Okay, that's calm. I don't see how Game of Thrones didn't win. Homeland. Them Game of Thrones fans don't House play. Cards. But Breaking Bad way better, though. And Mad Men. Breaking Bad. Everybody go up. All y'all go up. Come on. This year, Breaking Bad received 13 Emmy nominations and has a total of 42 to date. Accepting the Emmy on behalf of the team is Vince Gilligan. Everybody go up. All y'all go up. Go. <laughs> oh, man. I hope I found a show that made me feel like this again. Man, I, I did not see this coming. I thought this was going to be, uh, I thought this was going to be a house of cards. You can just see in the back. <laughs> Thank you to AMC, Charlie we got Collier, Marie, we got Josh Hank, Saban, we got Jesse, we got uh, Skyler, we got uh, Walt, who else we got? We got Mike. On, TV. I don't know who those uh, people are. Starting with Mr. Brian Cranston. And, uh, oh, look at Walter Jr. Uh, wonderful crew and Albuquerque, New Mexico. And Outstanding supporting actress. Again? Wait. Here are the nominees for Outstanding I remember him a from a show. Series. Breaking Bad, no. Lena Headey, Game of Thrones. The Big Bang Theory. Joanne Froggett, Downton Abbey. Christine Baranski, The Good Wife. Why is it the same three Christina shows? Christina Hendricks, Mad Men. It's the same four shows. Maggie Smith, Downton Abbey. Anna Gunn, Breaking Bad. Sky, sky, and again. Here goes. And a gun. You knew you was going to win. Don't do that. For her portrayal of Skylar White on Breaking Bad, this is the second she consecutive Emmy it. She win deserved it. She did. She did. She did. She did. nomination for Anna Gunn. Hey, what's with this kissing gesture that everybody, like... I know kissing on the cheek, but I think they kind of kiss on the lips. I don't know about that. But then again, I think that's like a British England thing, you know, kissing on the side of the cheek. 
it's like a handshake, so. Um, getting a phone call from Sharon Bialy, um, our amazing casting director, who said, get your, get your uh, patootie in here and read for this show, right? And it turned into the most extraordinary journey. It did. I was standing writing for a drama series. Okay, so I'm about to see the writer. Okay. Breaking Bad, Felina, written by Vince Gilligan. Breaking Bad, Ozymandias, written by Maura Wally Beckett. Game of Thrones, The Children. Bro, it's the same shows every time. And guess who winning? Moira Wally Beckett, Breaking Bad. She's the writer? She wrote everything? Emmy win and third nomination for Moira Wally Beckett. She could have played Skyler. She took home her first trophy last year. Vince Gilligan, this is your fault. <laughs> Thank you for your mentorship and your mad skills, yo. I share mm, this. I share this wholeheartedly with you, my fellow writers: Sam Catlin, Tom Schnoz, Peter Gould, George Masters, yep. and Jenny Hutchinson. I couldn't have asked for better fellow comrades. I like how she's looking at them too. In that seedy foxhole in Burbank. Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones. Peter Dinklage, Game of Thrones. I did not do it. I did not kill Joffrey, but I wish I did. I did. Oh. Watching your vicious bastard die gave me more relief than a thousand lying whores. I've seen that scene before. Aaron Paul, Breaking Bad. You out here still love me! Ah, uh, you're gonna look older now, Jesse. You got your hair slicked back. Okay, man. Fifth nomination for Aaron Paul. She said third win, fifth nomination? I don't know, but I know he got at least three of them. Walt got like five of them, four. I want to say Skylar got like two. Gift inside of you guys and decided to share it with us. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, my God, Breaking Bad. It has uh, changed my life and I'm standing up here because of one man and that is Vince Gilligan. He looked thank good you. with that mustache. Cass, I love you guys. Outstanding lead actor. See, he got like four, three, four, three, four or five, I think. It is three, four, or five. I don't know which one it is. Scary and obsessive. Mm. Often That's Heisenberg. looking, but full of dark secrets. That's Heisenberg right That's there. That's not just how we describe the average actor. Game of Thrones, House of Cards, Downtown Abbey. Series. Brian Cranston, Breaking Bad. The Newsroom, who's that? Jeff Daniels, The Newsroom. Hey, that's Sabretooth back there from X-Men. John Hamm, Mad Men. What does he play? What does he play? Who does he play? Oh, I forgot who he plays. Matthew McConaughey, True Detective. He plays somebody I know too. I forgot. Brian Cranston. Yeah. Y'all know what time it is, man. Stand up. All y'all stand up. And 12th nomination for Brian Cranston. He now has four trophies four. for the portrayal of Walter White on Breaking Bad. And one for being one of the producers. Everybody the standing ovation. It's only right. It is only right to give him a standing ovation. 12 nominations. That's my boy. You look good, Walt. Well, I don't know why I have been blessed with an abundance of, of good fortune in my life. Um, I was a kid who always looked for the shortcut, a schemer. My, my own family uh, nicknamed me Sneaky Pete. Do so, the Heisenberg voice. I just want to see him. I it. did. The nominees Holly for Barry. Outstanding Drama Series are... Breaking so they all Man. got like five, no. Downtown Walk Abbey. out five. Game of Thrones. Including these. House of Cards. Mad Men. I've never watched any of these shows. True Detective. And the Emmy goes to? Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. This year, Breaking Bad received another one. Emmy nominations and has a total of 58 to date. 16. The second consecutive Emmy for drama series on behalf of the team is Vince Gilligan. Perfect, perfect, perfection. 
I need to search up Vince Gilligan, man. I can do that right now. He wrote Hancock? I enjoy Hancock. I really did. That's all he really wrote. He ain't write nothing else. Hancock, Talking Saw, Community. He ain't really wrote nothing else. I guess he took a break or something. Wonderful farewell uh, to our show. You you have been very kind to us indeed. And congratulations to all the other Hey, look at Todd in the back. To, to, to stand amongst. This is indeed a wonderful time to be working in television. I think you all, all know that. Uh, we're, we're hey, my boy Saul Goodman. <laughs> I want to thank AMC and Sony, and I want to thank uh, the best damn crew ever. I oh, man. That's, that's amazing, bro. That is perfection. That is greatness. You know, 34 minutes of winning Emmys, winning awards. That's crazy. Is any other show winning like this? Does any other, I guess Game of Thrones probably got a long montage of winning too, huh? I don't know, because Game of Thrones was losing to Breaking Bad. I guess when Breaking Bad ended, that's when Game of Thrones really turned up, because, you know, Breaking Bad. I mean, Game of Thrones got like eight seasons. But, bro, man, after I finished Breaking Bad, I just felt like I was missing something in my life. I don't know what it was. It's just like, it's like a, I missed 26. You know how you missed 2016, 18, 17? You know how you missed those years? That's how I missed Breaking Bad. It's like a good time watching it. Gave me a good vibe. I don't know what it is. Ooh, luckily, Better Call Saul has a lot of seasons, so that's going to keep me occupied. And I got to watch El Camino. I got to watch that too, so I'm not really done with Breaking Bad. I'm just done with this segment. Probably the best segment, but people say Better Call Saul is better. I guess we'll find out. Subscribe, comment, like if you enjoyed. If you didn't, watch it again. But it's up to you, man. Subscribe, and I'm out. <laughs>